Some would call it an experiment, black men fighting equally with their white counterparts. But these men felt it was much more than that. It was for the future of mankind and the future of the black race. I think of myself really as being more of a witness to history. It's always about things and issues that are larger than me. My name is Kyle Cruz, and I'm the great-great-grandnephew of Sergeant William H. Connie. Connie enlisted in the 54th Regiment on February 17, 1863. On July 18th, they would fight the battle that we now know as Fort Wagner. Connie was the first African-American to get the Medal of Honor. It's an extraordinary image by Richard Benson. Those original photographs that I used from the memorial, I thought were simply brilliant. It underscores a great history in relationship to the Civil War. Then my, you know, sort of intervention within that then becomes like a third or a fourth layer. And so what you then ultimately have is a narrative change, a narrative shift. When we look at the monument, it's a powerful image to see those proud faces, those strong men moving forward. When I think of the men of the 54th, I really understand what Black Lives Matter means. Connie and those men of the 54th lived that, did that, died for that. The unfortunate thing is that the saga continues. We would think that by now, we would have overcome that. How do we get out of this thing that we're in? How do we deal with George Floyd? How do we deal with all of these protests, right? And that's one of the reasons that this work is going into your, your space to foreground uh, that there is another narrative, that there is another history that needs to be unpacked, that needs to be understood. And the only way we're going to do that is by allowing voices into spaces and places that heretofore have not been echoed there, have not been heard there in this particular way. And so all of these institutions are uh, looking at that. Um, and uh, as his daughter uh, said, my, my daddy therefore did not die in vain. And hopefully by telling these stories and having these conversations and not forgetting these stories, that we will at some point truly overcome. We won't just have to say those words, we will live those words. <laughs>